Get your data table ready. We'll start this lab right off with a couple of measurements. First the butane canister and now the temperature. I'll fill the grad cylinder up with water that's been colored blue just to make it a little bit easier to see in contrast to the clear colorless water in the bucket. And now I'll move the bucket over and insert the hose that's attached to the butane. Well, it is a burner, but the burner apparatus has been removed. But the butane canister, I'll put the hose up underneath the bottom of the grad cylinder, the inverted grad cylinder, and start adding the butane gas. There is pushed out the bottom of the cylinder as the gas displaces the water in the cylinder. Then I'll remove the hose. Don't want to go beyond that 100 mil mark. Remove the hose and bring the apparatus a little bit closer so you can make a measurement of the amount of water after we level the water inside and outside of the grad cylinder. So watch carefully. Make the best measurement that you can and then stay tuned for a pressure reading and a temperature reading. So record just the pressure. It will be in inches of mercury. Don't record the temperature off the phone. Wait for the temperature on the thermometer. And we'll assume that the temperature is the same for the water and the room. And get your data table ready for a second trial. Here comes the gas canister. A quick Google search will let you know what gas is most likely in a dust-off canister. This time we'll collect quite a bit more gas, so I'm going to use a 1,000 mil graduated cylinder. And uh, thus I will be doing the experiment over the sink since the collection jug that the cylinder is turned upside down in will overflow. Also a little more challenging to try to not lose any water and introduce any air bubbles as the cylinder is inverted. All right, looks like that went okay. Maybe a bubble or two, oops, there's one a bubble or two. There's another little one. So we'll certainly have a small amount of air due to those bubbles. And now I'll hook the hose there, get that cylinder steady, hook the hose on to the dust off canister and then submerge the hose up underneath the graduated cylinder. Maybe another bubble or two introduced. I can see one at the top of the grad cylinder, maybe a mill or two and ready to introduce the gas into the cylinder. I'll put this in double time. It does take a little bit longer because we are adding quite a bit more gas this time and I want to be sure and not put too much gas beyond the markings. Oops, you can see the water overflowing into the sink. And now I'll remove the hose from the cylinder, move the canister out of the way, dump out some of the excess water so I can bring the apparatus closer to make a reading easier. Also put a dark background behind which may make it easier to see. So watch carefully and do the best you can to make a measurement of the gas in the grad cylinder. One more time, in case you missed it, it is tricky to try to see um, the actual measurement. Here it is again. And now a final measurement of the canister after the removal of the gas.